Hi, this is Alice Levitt, food writer for Seven Days. I'm here in Stratton at Verde Restaurant where Chef Rogan Lechtaller is going to teach me to make head cheese. I actually learned in Oxford, Mississippi, working for a gentleman named Dan Latham at a restaurant called L&M's Salumeria. And it was a great experience. Just walked in one day and saw that he was doing it and said, I, you know, I got I to gotta see, I got to learn how to do that. Show me. And, uh, and he was really nice enough to do that. You know, it surprised me as, as much as it's surprising to hear that he had a full-blown Salumeria, you know, in Oxford, Mississippi. What are we doing here with these pig's heads? Today we're going to make some head cheese and then uh, roll it up in, with uh, some Activa, which will seal it together. And then we're going to have a nice head cheese appetizer with some grilled toast. And so there's no cheese in head cheese, there, correct? There will be no cheese involved. But there will be meat glue. All right, so we're just going to peel the skin back and start looking for good chunks of meat to uh, Hey, look at this. Smiling little I knew from working at the Pitcher Inn with Sue, um, she did a great job of getting all local products, you know, especially this time of year when you have the availability. Um, and I thought that was awesome. I thought that was the way everybody should be wherever they are. And so that's that's what we do here and we, we work very hard to, to keep it that way. Certainly things don't heal quite what the uh, larger hogs do in their head. Oh, we will not be using the eye today. That's, a, that's the next level. Now, it looks like I have some of your tissue. Yeah, you're not going to want that. That's garbage, yeah. Okay. One of my parents' favorite stories about me is that when I was about five years old, they slaughtered a chicken, and I said, I want to play with the head, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> They wouldn't let me, but I finally grew up to play with that damn head. Small women to take a perk suck on pigs. Taking it pretty well. He is smiling. Yep. Uh, there's just thyme and uh, salt and pepper right now. And uh -huh. then we're going to do the, the Activa to help hold it all together. And what is Activa? That's uh, meat glue. And so I, I hear that there's some things that we eat every day that have Activa in them. What are those? Well, I, I don't eat chicken McNuggets every day. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That, that is a, uh, that's a very popular product that uses Activa. Uh -huh. And then we're going to roll this up nice and tight, and the Activa will bond it together so we can slice perfect cross sections. And even, even then, we can still warm it up and it won't fall apart because the Activa will, will be fine with the heat. And what's Activa made out of? I don't know. <laughs> it's a magical mystery. Yeah, we need to pack it. <laughs> Just added a little sauce with green peppercorn, shallot, and uh, mustard seed and fennel seed. Give it a nice little roll. Looks a little bit like you're making meat candy. Of course, the salami board. I mean, that's really the, uh, the showcase item. Uh, otherwise, the menu changes. It's always changing. I like that. We were talking about doing bear just the other day because Stratton's mascot, in essence, is a, is a bear. So we thought that would be funny to have some kind of bear preparation on the menu. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe come back in December and see if the bear's on. Bear.